Hello everybody, my name is Kalyan Verma for SAP Crystal Reports and Dashboard Solutions on Facebook. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom preloader for Excelsius Live Dashboards. Preloaders are typically used as wait signs to let the users know that there is something going on in the background, uh, for example, a data retrieval process. The most common preloader you see um, in most of the user interface these days is, is an hourglass which indicates that um, there is something running in the background and waiting, the application is waiting for something. So similar to that, you can create your own custom preloaders in Excelsius uh, with simple uh, techniques. I'm gonna show you one of them now. Uh, what I have here is a simple dashboard which uses a query as a web service connection connected to Business Office Enterprise. So if I go to my data connections, uh, you see there is a revenue query as a web service listed there and I have everything mapped. So I have my input queries as login password and the year and the output queries, a bunch of rows, a bunch of columns and rows. I have 14 columns in this uh, example. And if you observe there is a usage tab for uh, query as web service. If I switch to usage tab, uh, on the bottom you see that I have a load status section where I can, um, you know, design my custom preloader. I have a field for loading message, idle message, and insert in uh, option. Uh, when when I say loading message, it means that when the data is loading or when the connection is active, uh, it inserts a one into the insert in cell. So I've used one and zero. It's up to you. You can use anything you want to. And if it's idle, that means the data connection is not active. That is, the data has already been retrieved. It's going to put a zero in the same cell. So in this case, I'm going to map it to cell B2. Um, and I'm going to uncheck both enable load cursor and disable mouse input and say close. So what this means is when the data connection that is a query as web service is in action, it's going to insert one. And once the data is retrieved, it's going to insert a zero. So all I have to do now is simply pull in an image component, go to the properties of the image component. As you can see, I can embed either JPEGs or Swift for the image component. And I'm embedding the file. It's not a reference file. It's direct embed into the Swift. So I'm going to import. I have a preloader Swift. Uh, an animated Swift, which you're going to see in a moment when I click open. So I have a simple loading animated Swift. Uh, looks like a Firefox loading Swift, or you can call it an Apple loading Swift. Uh, it's a preloader. Basically, I've downloaded from the internet. It's uh, it's uh, royalty free. Uh, <clears throat> so I have this uh, animated preloader on my on my canvas now. So all I need to do is I need to go to the behavior tab and set the dynamic visibility status to the same B2 where we are inserting the loading and idle messages from the connection. And we want the key to be one. Remember one is when the data is being loaded. So when the value in B2 is one, it's gonna show the loading message. When it's zero, it's gonna disappear. That's what we want. So let's uh, do a quick test. All right, it's initializing now. Okay, now you must have seen the connection was active, it loaded uh, on load. So you, you must have seen the, the preloader appearing there indicating that the data is being retrieved. Now it disappeared, that means the data is already being retrieved and you're ready to go. Now if I change the ear, observe the top left corner where we placed our preloader. Now when I set my query as web service to refresh on change of ear. So when I do 
go from 2004 to 2005, the preloader should appear for a moment till time the data is retrieved. Let's see. There you go. You see the data loading message. Now once it's loaded, you see the chart changing and the preloader disappearing. There you go. They both happen at the same time. So it gives more uh, more aesthetic uh, feeling to the old dashboard instead of showing an hourglass. So I recommend go go and use uh, custom preloaders. You have a bunch of them, millions of them online. You can buy them for, for a fee or some, some of them offer it as royalty free. Thanks for watching.